Nutrition is key when it comes to keeping up with your health. Today we're joined by certified nutritionist and chef Serena Poon, who has worked with a list of stars like Tom Brady and Sofia Vergara, just to name a few. And um, thanks for joining. I don't have, I can't see you. We're having some technical problems. So, um, I, hi, you look great, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thanks. Hi, Jason. I'm, I'm here. I can see you. Oh, good. Good. Well, this is awesome. You've worked with some, some big names in Hollywood when it comes uh, to health and longevity. Uh, so like, what are some of the top trends that celebrities are loving right now? Because, you know, we all want to follow what they do. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, right now my clients are all about obviously looking good and feeling good inside and out. So skincare is a big thing. We like to keep them super hydrated. Uh, I love having a special kind of water that's like a hyper oxygenated water. So there's a brand I love, it's called Inhale. It's basically like hyperbaric in a can. So it's just got so much more oxygen than regular water. So that kind of keeps our skin and our bodies like clean, detox, refreshed, energized. Uh, and then there's a skincare that um, I love. I travel so much. I don't know about you, Jason, but I probably, last year I traveled 300 days. Oh, wow. Which can dry your skin out. And um, there's a skincare called uh, uh, Delvi Sciences Aonia, and they have this sculpting cream. And the clinical studies have shown that it improves moisture content um, by 58% just after one use. So it's pretty phenomenal. It has a special space technology in it, this um, extract from bacillus lysate. So it's really cool. Wow. Uh, the other thing is we really like to get hyper-personalized. So we run really specific tests. It's like curated and designed just for them so that we can be really proactive about their health. So everything from kind of what you see standard, like hormones or gut, but I get real nitty gritty. So we get into like what causes inflammatory responses in their body. So you could be doing something on a daily basis that you think is great for you. Um, you could be eating certain foods that you think is great for you, but it, it has a response in your body that isn't ideal. And then that can cause higher levels inf of inflammation and discomfort and disease. So they love that because we'll always <laughs> find things you know, it's like private investigating. We'll always find things that they had no idea wasn't good for them. And sometimes it's in their favorite products. Yeah, gosh, a lot of good information. You know, speaking of health and longevity, you'll be giving the keynote uh, at the Longevity Fest here in Las Vegas. Um, and I guess you'll be what, talking about science and, and soul of well-being. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm actually so excited and so honored to be speaking there because there's gonna be so many of my colleagues and just other experts in the field. And it's such an incredible time right now in terms of health and wellness with all the different advances in science. But we're also coming to a place where we're recognizing all that ancient wisdom um, and practices that we've done for a long time. So there's this beautiful intersection of like science, cutting edge innovation, ancient wisdom and holistic practices. So it's very cool. All right. Well, good. And, and the monitor's back up and you do look great. <laughs> <laughs> so, I kind of practice my speech, so thanks. Yeah, Serena. All right. Thank you very much. And we'll be right back.